I don't see growth, I'm ending my channel. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I trim my split ends off like get them going for good on blown out hair. I blew out my hair yesterday. In this video I'm going to be showing y'all what I use to trim my hair, techniques that I use, different tricks and tips and stuff like that so stay tuned. So right now I'm just parting my hair so I can work on the back first. The last time I blew out my hair was in November. That was the last trim that I did. So hopefully I retained some length in these past in these past six months. I should have retained some length. I've been doing more protective styling, more low manipulation stuff. So if I don't see growth, I'm ending my channel. This is the first section that I will be working with. As you can see, she needs maintenance. What What is that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Yeah, no. So I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb and be careful when using a wide tooth comb because I'm hearing snapping. So go slow so you're not ripping out your hair. I'm gonna do a light detangling. And then I'm just trying to see where I'm going to cut. Rub your fingers over the length of your hair and it should feel like smooth and pretty healthy until you get to the ends. If you feel rough dryness, that's where you need to cut. Now I'm gonna take my hair shears, link in the description. And do you see all of that? I'm cutting all of that off. And now I can run my fingers through it. It's a bit more flowy. It's moving a little bit more. It's not as stiff. I try to keep my trimming routine very, very simple. As mentioned in previous videos, I'm lazy. So that's all I really do. I just section out the part that I'm gonna cut, assess and evaluate what exactly I'm cutting. When it feels like rough and dry, that's how you know that you have split ends, you need to get rid of them ASAP. I just feel for that, cut it off with my hair shears, see if I got everything out, and then on to the next. And then after I'm done, I just like twist it up very loosely to get it out the way. Now I'm gonna do the same for this section. I might split this into two also, it's kind of big. I lightly detangle with my wide tooth comb. So I'm feeling, and right around there is where I get that dry, rough, feeling yeah this is dry as heck you see that like frail thin looking ends and this is what i just cut off and now i can run my fingers through no issue. The key to trimming your hair is making sure you got hair shears not kitchen scissors arts and crafts none of that hair shears so now i'ma just combine the two and it's going through really smooth and i'm literally doing the same thing for each section okay so all of that is trimmed Comb having no issues going through, so that means I did a good job. And I am seeing a little bit of length. Mm, a little bit. So I'm gonna just twist this up, get it out the way, and then we go on to the next. The back, back of my head is hard to do. So I'm gonna do that last and probably off camera and show y'all this side. Man, I wish this background was white. I can't see. Um. Okay, there we go. Now y'all should be able to see everything because I'm just like, I can't see in the back. So lightly detangle, feel for where it feels rough and dry and just raggedy. Oof. Yeah, look at that. Looking very rough.
this side is done i'm going to go ahead and do the back and the rest of my head it's basically the same thing repeating over and over and over again it's different if you are like trying to maintain a shape this is not that type of video i'm just showing y'all how i trim my hair i'm not trying to maintain any type of shape at all i'm just trimming the split ends that's all so yeah i'm gonna do the rest and i'll get back to you guys when i'm done Alright, so I'm back. My hair is fully trimmed. It's looking a bit more fluffier, fuller. It's currently shrinking by the second because it's hot and I need to hurry up. And I got these hot lights on me too. So I apologize that I couldn't get more footage of me trimming my hair. My camera cut off, which was very fake of my technology to do. Anyways, I apologize for that, but my hair is fully trimmed. Um, It's a little bit more fluffier. I can run my fingers through it with no issue. I'm not getting my hands caught. This is how much I lost. Not that much at all. So whatever I'm doing, I'm going to keep doing it, sticking to my routine of keeping a style in for like a week, not touching my hair, low manipulation styles, wigs, all of that. I'm doing the whole nine because I'm finally starting to see a growth or difference in my hair. With that being said, for split ends, if you're noticing that your hair isn't acting right, you're using products that usually gives you bomb results, but for some reason just isn't doing that, maybe you need to trim your ends. If you're doing twists or braids in your hair and you're noticing that the ends are like fuzzy, not neat and coiled and put together, trim your ends. If you're noticing that you have a lot of single strand knots, trim your ends. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you learned something. I apologize for not having a lot of clips, so this video might be short. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Comment down below what you think. How often do you trim your hair? Do you just wait till you need a trim? If you don't have hair shears, check in the description box below. I got hair shears linked in there for you so you can get that clean cut every single time. Follow me on my Instagram I'm very active on there. And yeah, that is it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.